Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the magnetic read switch known as KY021. This is a module itself, so let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy, they can be shipped worldwide, so don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. module has integrated on board a read switch and one resistor. The resistor used in this module is 10 kilo ohm and the main reason for using the resistor is to limit current circulating inside the module. In other words, to prevent current from burning our module. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensor itself. And of course, the resistor R1. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. So, we have in red the flow of the voltage, we have in black the flow of the ground, and of course we have in green the flow of the signal. A read switch has two contacts that are made from a ferromagnetic materials and sealed inside a thin glass envelope filled with an unreactive gas to keep them free of dust and dirt. Sometimes the glass has an outer casting of plastic for even greater protection. In normal state the contacts doesn't touch each other so the signal that the module will give will be high but when a magnetic field will come closer to the sensor this will force the contact to touch each other because of their ferromagnetic materials which can get easily magnetized. Under a magnetic field this module will give a signal that will be low. Generally both contacts move and make a flat parallel area of contacts with one other because that helps to extend the life and reliability of the switch. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are three. We have the ground pin with a minus sign, the voltage pin is in the middle and of course we have the pin of the signal with the S sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives a digital signal so we can connect the pins of the signal with any digital ports of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today, if you like the video hit that like button, if you want more videos like this one hit that subscribe button with a bell icon so you will be notified for every video, we upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription, don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.